That needs a mod. Good afternoon YouTube and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to change the headlight bulb on the Royal Enfield Himalayan. I went out last night and I had a little run around the country roads with the stock headlight bulb in there and then I'm going to run a side by side comparison with the new one tonight just to see if there's any difference. Now obviously it's difficult to do that when it's dark because the cameras are not brilliant so they find it difficult to pick up that light at the best of times but hopefully we should be able to see a difference. Folks I've been meaning to do this for quite some time yeah because the headlight on the Himalayan is anemic to say the least. <laughs> it's quite a yellow light, it's not particularly strong. Now, it's not such a big deal in the summer, but now that it's getting into the winter, it's time to maybe do something about it. It's quite funny because I was actually talking to one of my subscribers at the weekend, Mark, and we were talking about this very issue actually, about just how not brilliant the headlight is on this, yeah? And then when I was coming down from Argyle at the weekend, I was coming down that really dark, cold, heavy rain, really difficult to see around those sweeping bends, and I thought, do you know what? It's time to try and do something about this. As I've gone for this Osram Nightbreaker. That's a German brand. You get lots of different ones that are really quite good. You've got your Philips Extreme and stuff like that. Now, this one is the Silver. Yeah, it's not the brightest one. The brightest one is the laser, I believe. Now, when they say brighter, what they really mean is whiter. It's a whiter light, yeah? But anyway, I thought to myself, what I'll do is I'll put this in the in the bike and see if it makes any kind of major difference. I think I paid £11.80 for these on Amazon, which is, yeah, you know, a few quid. But you're looking at, what, £5.90 a bulb? And when you consider your cheaper bulbs come in about three £3.99, well, for an extra pound odd, it might be worth maybe upgrading to a stronger bulb. I've just remembered, folks, see because I put this Hitchcock's cover on there, these are actually in with a 3mm Allen head screw, yeah? And there's these little spacers and stuff in there. So ordinarily, that's a Phillips head screw that's in there, yeah? So you're going to be wanting to use that screw. This will now just pop off there like that. Yeah, this is a standard H4 connector you've got on there. You see this? It's like a three pronged connector. Yeah, you just want to disconnect that. Yeah, then you can take this rubber boot off. Yeah, if you want to, you can also disconnect the little LED connector here. Now, I'm just going to take this off completely now. Yeah, if you look at the top here, there's a little marker that says top. Yeah, so you want to be able to line that up before you go putting that back in again. So let's just take this little rubber grommet off, yeah. Now once you take that little rubber grommet off, you can see that it just exposes the little clips that are holding the bulb in place. Now, guys, you probably already know that I said, but when you take the bulbs out and you put the new ones in, you don't really want to touch the glass because that can affect the performance of the bulb, yeah. So just hold it with the prongs here. I actually did a little video on the install of this a couple of months ago, yeah? It's very straightforward. I'll put a little link to that if you want to watch it. But I'm just going to put the spacers in, screw this back in place. Then when it's dark, we'll take it for a run. It's actually getting a little bit rusty. But it's not a real surprise when you think <laughs> how much rain we get. Okay, so let's just tighten these up with the, the 3mm Allen key. Now folks, these Osram bulbs come in this, it's a bit overkill to be honest. But of course it comes with two bulbs, so, and this is my old one. Now there's still a bit of life left in it, so I'll just keep that as spare, just in case. Now you're probably asking why I didn't just go for the stronger bulb, the brighter bulb, yeah? For the sake of, you know, a couple of quid. Well to be honest, I'm still a little bit conscious of the headlight here on the Himalayan. It sits quite high. And I did a previous video where I found I was actually dazzling people. So I adjusted that down a little bit, yeah? It's not so bad now, but again, I'm very conscious. I don't really want to be dazzling other drivers. To be honest, it's a bit of a selfish thing, yeah? Because <laughs> if you're riding in the dark and the rain and your visor's wet and you're tanking round corners and people are full beaming you in the face, yeah? It's, it's not very pleasant, yeah, it's actually quite dangerous, so I've gone for that sort of happy medium, yeah, let's see if it makes a difference, if it doesn't, I'll reevaluate. You can let me know in the comments, folks, is this something that you've had a problem with, is, is it something that you're not bothered about, 
uh, have I made a blunder? Should I have gone for the Philips Extreme? <laughs> Should I have gone for LED? Have you upgraded to LED? I'm genuinely interested because if this doesn't work out, I'm going to be looking for an alternative for this. Right guys, so I've not seen the footage out of these cameras yet and I'm just going to edit them raw side by side. Now obviously it's night time and action cameras are not exactly brilliant for picking up <laughs> light in the dark. But it should be good enough that we can see a difference side by side there. Now, the reason I can say that confidently is because I can see a difference riding around. Now it's not a huge difference. But I'm going to say to my eye it's somewhere in the region of about 15 to 20%. Now, that 15-20% difference is probably good enough for me, to be honest. It certainly warrants the difference in cost. You know, the extra sort of £1.90 or whatever it is for that sort of upgraded bulb. I might have undersold myself a little bit. Maybe I should have gone out and, and got the sort of Osram laser or whatever. But that's something I can look at in the future. Anyway, that's it for this one, folks. I really hope you liked it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe down below. Maybe even hit that notification bell so you know the next time I upload a video to YouTube. And I'll see you in the next one.